Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 17th series of uh, Clinical Research and Pharmacovigilance. In this uh, video, we are going to see about Pharmacoepidemiology. What is Pharmacoepidemiology? Pharmacoepidemiology is a branch of epidemiology that focuses on studying the use of medications and their effects in real world populations. It involves uh, systematic collection, analysis, and interpretation of data to understand the benefits, risks, effectiveness, and patterns of medication use in diverse patient populations. The pharmacoepidemiology field uh, combines the principles uh, from pharmacology, epidemiology, and biostatistics to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of drugs in actual clinical practice settings. What are the research methods in uh, pharmacoepidemiology? Pharmacoepidemiologic uh, research methods are techniques used to study the effects, safety, utilization, and patterns of medication use in real world populations. These methods help generate evidence on the benefits and risks of drugs outside the controlled clinical trial settings. Pharmacoepidemiological research employs various study designs and analytical approaches to address the research questions related to medication safety, effectiveness and impact on the public health. First is observational studies. This is one of the method in pharmacoepidemiology. Cohort studies. Already a separate video is also available for cohort studies. You can go through it also. It is one of the tool for pharmacoepidemiology. These studies uh, follow a group of individuals over a particular period of time, comparing the outcomes between the exposed to a medication and those who are not exposed to that medication. Cohort studies can be prospective, uh, followed uh, forward in time or retrospective uh, that is uh, verifying the medical records and taking a conclusion uh, that is utilizing the historical data. Next is uh, case control studies. In these studies, uh, researchers identify the individuals uh, with a particular outcome that is the cases and uh, for example smokers and compare their medication exposure history with that of a group without that outcome for example whether they have uh, cancer lung cancer that is outcome cross-sectional studies these studies <coughs> assess the medication use and outcomes at a single point in time providing a snapshot of the drugs exposure and health outcomes in the population next is uh, database studies this is one of the tool in pharmacoepidemiology pharmacy claims data analyzing the pharmacy claims data from the insurance uh, databases our healthcare systems can provide insights into prescription patterns adherence and potential adverse events electronic health records electronic health records uh, contain a comprehensive patient data including the medication prescriptions, diagnosis and outcomes, making them valuable uh, sources for pharmacoepidemiologic research. Next is uh, signal detection and surveillance uh, through uh, verifying the disease registries. Disease registries. Disease specific registries can be used to study the medication effects and outcomes in a specific patient populations. Signal detection and surveillance. Active surveillance. Uh, for surveillance, also separate video is available. Kindly you can go through it. Researchers proactively collect uh, data on the medication use and the outcomes from the healthcare providers, patients, or electronic health records to detect the potential safety signals. Passive surveillance. Researchers uh, rely on the spontaneous reporting of the adverse events to the pharmacovigilance systems such as uh, FDA's adverse event reporting system that is FAERS or in India it is now pharmacovigilance program of India that is national pharmacovigilance programs. Next is pharmacovigilance database. UDRA vigilance the European medicines agency database for collecting and analyzing suspected adverse drug reactions in the European Union. So these uh, databases can be used to for pharmacoepidemiological studies. Then VGBase, 
this is uh, the integrated database uh, of the world health organizations global individual case safety report database for pharmacovigilance so uh, other methods are uh, meta analysis meta analysis uh, combines uh, results from uh, multiple studies to provide a pooled estimate of the effects of a medication then propensity score matching in uh, non randomized studies researchers uh, use uh, propensity scores to match the individuals with uh, similar characteristics to compare the medication exposures and outcomes then instrumental variable analysis this method uses uh, instrumental variable that is a variable that influences a medication use but is not associated with the outcome <coughs> to mitigate biases in observational studies pharmacoepidemiological trials so these are large scale randomized trials conducted in the real world settings to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of medications retrospective uh, database analysis researchers analyze historical data from healthcare databases to assess the medication effects on the outcomes what is a bias in pharmaco epidemiology in your question paper they may ask what is bias bias in pharmaco epidemiology refers to systematic errors or distortions in the results of a study that can lead to inaccurate or misleading conclusions about the effects safety or patterns of medication use bias can arise from various sources and affect the validity and reliability of uh, study findings understanding and addressing bias is a critical uh, feature for producing accurate and actionable evidence in pharmacoepidemiological research so uh, there are different types of bias one is selection bias and this occurs when the selection of the study participants is uh, non random not random and is influenced by the factors uh, related to both exposure and outcome it can lead to overestimation or underestimation of the true association between the medication use and outcomes information bias recall bias study participants uh, might inaccurately recall or report their medication use leading to misclassification of exposure and outcomes misclassification bias inaccurate uh, classification of exposure or outcome status can occur due to errors in the data collection or measurement then confounding confounding by indication it is a situation where the underlying medical condition for which a medication is prescribed is associated with the outcome of interest this can lead to false association between the medication and the outcome then confounding by severity the severity of the disease or the condition can influence both the choice of the medication and the outcome leading to a biased association next is the publication bias studies with positive or significant results are more likely to be published than those with negative or non significant results this can skew the overall evidence base protopathic bias it's a form of uh, time related bias where early symptoms of an outcome are mistaken for side effects of a medication leading to false appearance of a protective effect immortal time bias it arises from including a period of time when an outcome cannot occur due to the study design leading to artificial survival advantage in the exposed group lead time bias it occurs uh, when an earlier diagnosis is made due to screening or surveillance leading to apparent prolonged survival even if the time of death is unchanged so it's a very short information of uh, the uh, pharmacoepidemiology its methods and bias i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos available in the playlist clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharma topics channel thank you